become more susceptible than ever to falling under the influence of synthetic drugs. More, more and more people are dying every day from these synthetic drugs, mainly just because they have no idea what they are and what, what they are committing to when they decide to use these synthetic drugs. CNN reporter Christy Ramsey stated that across the country and around the world, synthetic drugs are tearing holes in families. And literally, she means they're tearing holes in families because so many people are dying from them. Kids, adults, teenagers, everyone is dying from these, and they because they literally have no idea what they are. A little personal note, I had a best friend in high school that did drug, tried a drug for the very first time ever, and he died that night. And so, it is real, this is not a joke, it's, it's serious. So the point of this is to help y'all understand better you know, what these drugs are, and so y'all can be aware of the, the help, harmful effects that they cause on everyone. Okay, so what are synthetic drugs? Uh, these are products that are made chemically to mimic the effects that natural drugs give. They're sold online in adult shops and e even you can find them in convenience stores and gas stations, as crazy as that is, but it's because they're considered legal. Um, K2 and Spice are the um, synthetic marijuana version of synthetic drugs and also bath salts. Those are the most common ones that you can find. Um, they're newly produced so quickly that the reason that they're legal is because the government has no way of getting a hold of them quickly enough to to call them illegal. So co they're constantly coming up with new ingredients, new um, <clears throat> everything, new names, and so they have no way of calling them illegal. Also, they put on there whenever they put them on the shelves, they put "not for human consumption" in really small writing, and so by putting that that also makes it legal because they're telling people you're not supposed to consume them, but they do anyways. And um, you can find them in the form of powders, pills, and dried herbs. And another thing I want to say is people also think because they're legal that they're safe. They're so used to, used to things in America, if they're legal, heck, they're safe. But it's not, it's, that's not the case at all. It's just they haven't gotten a hold of them to call them illegal. Um, it's estimated that these drugs, uh, like I said, are being um, newly produced. This is one that I already went over. And they are highly dangerous and harmful. So what's the difference between synthetic versus natural? Well, natural is exactly like it sounds. It's grown outside naturally. You can find them in nature, whereas synthetic drugs are not found outside naturally. But what they do is they will take extracts from natural plants, and that's what they, they mix with chemicals like I'm, I'm talking chemicals like bleach, rat poisoning, any kind of cleaner, anything like that, and they've never been tested, so society is the guinea pig to them. So it could, you could have a good trip, but you could also die. So you're just kind of betting with the models that you're given. Um, I will say though, a lot of both types of drugs, even natural, also have long lasting, can cause long lasting effects to people. A lot of times they think since they're natural, they can get off scot-free, but that's not always the case. Some statistics, um, the Foundation for a Drug-Free World, copyright 2006 through 2017, stated that calls to poison control centers related to synthetic marijuana use increased in the U.S. by almost 80% between 2010 and 2012. And clearly that's because they're just so easy to get to, so it's, it's becoming more popular. And another one was the, found the same Foundation for a Drug-Free World stated that in 2014, K2, which is synthetic marijuana, um, from a Texas dealer was linked to 120 overdoses in Austin and Dallas in just one week alone. Um, the Texas Country website stated that the U.S. market introduces five synthetic drugs every month. Five synthetic drugs every month would mean 60 different names in a year. So that just shows you like how quick they're making it. The American College of Emergency Physicians stated that more than 95% of emergency physicians polled in 2016 said that the number of patients they've treated for synthetic drug use had either increased or remained the same from 2014 to 2015. So it's not getting any better. This is what they look like in stores and online. They even put them as Scooby Snacks is one of their names. And so they look appealing to younger kids. Um, they, on the shelves, they could even look like medicine, as you can see over there. So it's very easy to get to them. Some of the long-term effects is they cause psychotic behavior, paranoia, extreme anxiety, rapid heart rate, 
increased blood pressure, um, so they're associated with heart rate, with heart attacks, agitation, and you also have a very likelihood of getting addicted, very high chance of addiction. Natural drugs, like I said, they can also cause long-term effects, lowered motivation, <coughs> anxiety, panic attacks, respiratory illness, increased heart rate, and also an increased chance of heart attack. These are some of the changes in appearance. Um, it causes the skin to get very, these chemicals cause the skin to get very dry and thin, and so people itch their skin a lot. Well, since their skin is thin, it causes sores to look like that lady that I showed y'all before. Um, also, whenever they're hallucinating, it, it, they can see bugs and stuff like that on them, and so they scratch their skin to get the bugs off. And one story that I read about, this lady literally thought she was an orange, and she peeled her, completely peeled herself. And then there's another guy, and you can see how much he, they've all aged too. It causes you to age really bad. And so, by understanding what these synthetic drugs are, we can help others around us become more aware and by relaying this information that y'all have learned and help stop the increasing rate that is just flying in America for deaths with these drugs. And uh, one thing that you should always remember and tell people around you is these synthetic drugs should not be used as an alternative to natural drugs, even though they're, they're considered legal because they're not safe at all. And one more thing to hit y'all with is according to the Fitzgerald Foundation, one person dies every 19 minutes from an overdose. So really think about that and take that and do something good with this information and tell those around you and be so they can be also more aware of all these harmful drugs and, and the dangers that they're causing every day in America.